Good evening. I'm Michael Conwell, board president of the Stonewall Chorale. Welcome to tonight's final concert of our 44th season, our June Pride concert, Always Something Sings. In pre-pandemic times, I would come out and tell the audience to please silence your devices. But since March 2020, it's all been about turning on our devices. Now we're extremely looking forward to restarting our in-person rehearsals and concerts starting this fall. Tonight's concert features a selection from our concert archives, as well as a brand new virtual video. Members of the Stonewall Chorale will tell you what we've been doing during this distance time, and artistic director Cynthia Powell will share with you the exciting concerts that we have planned for our next 45th season. We've missed you all terribly during this time, and as always, your financial support has been greatly appreciated. If you would like to donate to the Stonewall Chorale tonight during the concert, you may do so through our website. Thank you for joining us tonight, and now, on with the show.
Hi, I'm Tarante Venable. I am currently the head of the COVID committee, and it's certainly been a challenge to watch and wait and hope that one day our crowd can come together again and sing. Um, being a part of the committee with Joyce, Stephanie, as well as Lily, um, we spent a lot of our time looking at other choral groups and seeing how they have been trying to navigate these waters throughout the pandemic. We've also been constantly searching for singable masks, monitoring protocols, um, and also tracking how New York City has actually been handling COVID and the COVID statistics throughout this whole entire pandemic. Um, as much as we're eager to get everyone together again, we have been and will continue to keep the safety of our choral family first. Um, these have been really trying times, and I'm just so thankful that our chorale has managed to figure out ways for us to still, in a way, come together and create music together as a whole. The Stonewall Chorale has taken the opportunity of our virtual meetings in the past year, an unexpected break from our normal rehearsals, to have a series of important discussions. Based on the Gay and Lesbian Association of Choruses, A New Harmony Workbook, the topics have ranged from race and ethnicity to socioeconomic status, to sexual orientation, to accessibility, and more. We have discussed these topics in relation to the Stonewall Chorale and how we, as the first mixed voice LGBTQ chorus in the nation, can expand our sense of belonging to more diverse singers and audiences. As part of this process, we formed a committee who helped rethink our core principles and how we can best put them into practice as we move forward into the next season and beyond. We look forward to continuing this process, deepening our understanding of each other and the world around us while sharing beautiful music and community with whomever would like to join us. Hi, I'm Janet Villas, and I just wanted to thank the Stonewall Corral for being here at the darkest part of the pandemic for me. I was a member of Stonewall Corral 15 years ago, and, you know, in January and December, uh, I reached out to Cynthia when she said, anybody want to join us for a semester? You don't have to be in New York. And I was so desperate to sing, and I was so grateful to have something to do on Tuesday nights. And, you know, I used to live in New Jersey and work in Brooklyn, and it was a wonderful thing to stop by, but boy, was this easy. But uh, I was really, really grateful to see people. And honestly, I, I met them in a different way, and I really, really enjoyed talking and meeting every night or every Tuesday night with people. So I want to thank Stonewall Corral for being there for me and for a lot of people who weren't even in New York, but still felt part of the community. So keep going and keep spreading the joy and love that you always do. Thank you so much.
the Stonewall Corral has been such an important part of my life for so many years. Um, it's a it's home. It's a place to see friends, and it's really it's a place to make music. And I really have uh, sung every year in choral music, um, or just about every year since I was uh, in grammar school. Uh, and uh, whenever I haven't been able to do that, I really missed that opportunity. And um, so having being able to do that every week and to perform uh, several times a year just been tremendously important to me. And, uh, and I love making music and I love making music together with other people in harmony. And that's why it's so important. Hi, I'm Jan, and this is my wife, Stephanie, and we met in the Stonewall Corral. I have been a member since 2013. Jan was there way before, and um, singing this amazing music, this beautiful mix of classical and funky and uh, modern new composers up to really old music is really absolutely beautiful and highlights my Tuesday every week. And it's a great way to have this LGBTQ community around you. It's just a great way to meet people and have community and build community, which is why we love it. And we love the music and we love um, our director and everything about it. Hi, I'm Cynthia Powell, the Artistic Director of the Stonewall Corral. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. And thanks to all the Stonewall singers who gave their voices, time, and talent to create our virtual choir videos. Thanks also to all the members of the Corral who came on Tuesday nights on Zoom and met with us. We had a good time. We did the best we could in spite of being shut down for the COVID epidemic. But we do hope to be back together again in person in the fall. A special thanks to Cecilia Martin who facilitated our Zoom meetings week after week and made sure we all had the right links. My grateful thanks to Michael Conwell, to Larissa Flint McDowell and to Emily McSpadden who created our audio learning tracks. Also to Larissa and to Rachel Jones for creating our videos. And to Linda Romano, our webmaster, who actually produced this concert this evening. Thanks to Michael Conwell as board president and to all the Stonewall board for their guidance and wisdom over this past year. A very special thanks to Eric Sedgwick, our accompanist, whose beautiful playing has graced us for all of these years and for whose help really guided us through this past year of difficult times and music making. I wanna also thank Gwendolyn Stiegel, an alto in the choir who shepherded us through the New Harmony Workshop series, which enabled us to meet and discuss important topics of our time, topics such as racism, ageism, gender identity, sexual orientation, community engagement, lesbian bar history, and other timely topics that have been at the forefront of our consciousness over this past year. The Stonewall Corral started in 1977, making us the nation's first LGBTQ chorus. And this is our 44th season. Little did we know that we would be spending it at home, singing into our phones. This is certainly not choral singing, but sing we must. And so we have two beautiful videos. One is How Can I Keep From Singing? And the other, a new one, 
always something sings. And this is based on the poetry of Ralph Waldo Emerson, the great American transcendentalist poet and philosopher, with music by Dan Forrest. And I want to thank Dan for coming to a Stonewall rehearsal one Tuesday night not long ago and sharing his thoughts on his music with us. The central message of this concert is that in spite of all the negative forces within us and around us, the need to express beauty is in all of us and is a healing and necessary element of being fully human. With all the chaos of the past year, the sickness, the tragedy, the political turmoil, we can always find the good in things. We can always have hope. And we can express that in this very ancient and noble art of choral singing, uniting our voices together in song with strength and with pride. Hence the words of the song, in the darkest, meanest things, always something sings. With that, I invite you to join, re, enjoy the rest of the concert. May you all be well this summer, enjoy the warmer weather and the loosened restrictions. We hope to see you live this December when we present Here Comes the Sun. And very excited to have you join us in the spring when we premiere a mass by the great jazz pianist, Mary Lou Williams. We're looking forward to singing together again and to having you back with us. Thanks very much. Good night.
I first joined the Stonewall Chorale in 1983 and was lucky to meet a community of musicians and friends who proudly represented our LGBTQ community through our choral performances of serious classical music. What a great way to come out. After raising my children, I returned in 2010 and was delighted to find new faces, new friends, and the same core passions of supporting our community and performing the finest choral music work. I often describe the Stonewall Chorale as good for the soul, and it is. For me personally, it is also one of my most cherished long-term relationships.